All right, so enough theory, let's build something. To code along with me, first download the course folder from the link in the description below and open it with your favorite code editor. Here I'm using Visual Studio Code. From the course folder, open the exercise folder called JavaScript DOM. And then open the index.html file in the browser. In the index.html file, remember to link app.js file. In the app.js file, I'll start by adding a few lines of JavaScript codes. Let's update the color of the heading element to blue, then click it. So first, I'll start by taking hold of the element or selecting it. And we can select the same way we did earlier using the method document.getElementById and passing its ID my heading. So first I'll create a variable named my heading. Then I'll type document dot get element by ID. And pass in my heading. Now that we have a reference to the heading element stored in the variable named my heading. We can make it listen for mouse clicks using the method called add event listener. So right below I'll type my heading dot add event listener. This tells the heading element to start listening for browser events. There are many different kinds of browser events such as key presses, scrolling or mouse moves. I will teach you about those later in the upcoming lectures. But now let's start with one of the most common user interactions, clicking. So we want to listen for any moments that a user clicks the headline. So the first parameter I will pass in is the string click. The name of the event. Now that the headline is listening for clicks, we need to tell it what to do when the headline is clicked. And we'll do that by passing a function as the second argument. So now inside the function, we can use the my heading variable again to set the CSS color to blue. So after my heading, I'll type dot style dot color and assignment operator and string blue. Our event handler is now set up, so let's see it in action. I'll save the change, refresh the page. Now I can click on the page and nothing happens. So did we add the event handler correctly? Well, let's click on the headline to find out. And great, it turns blue. Well, we have successfully told the headline to listen for events. And if you click on it again, nothing happens. Well, nothing we can see at least because it's already blue. Clicking the headline has no visual effect, but behind the scene, the JavaScript code is still responding to each headline click. And if I refresh the page, the state of the page is set back to the beginning and clicking the headline makes it blue again. So let's go through this code line by line. On the first line we selected the element. Next we took our selection and called the add event listener method which tells the browser to do something when the headline is clicked. And finally we tell the browser to manipulate the element by making the text blue for every click event. Now don't worry about this add event listener part too much right now. I'll teach you more about it later in the upcoming lectures. The main thing to pay attention to is the first line here where the element is being selected. Selecting parts of a web page is a big topic. So up next, I'll teach you different ways of selecting page elements.